please check the directions for all measurements. Thank you. Renee Ewart here with Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. And today I am going to do um, another card for you uh, with the punches. And this will be my third video on punches. This is because of our die cutting and embossing machine it is not available to all. So I decided that uh, punching is using punches is really great um, and works really well and produces some beautiful, beautiful cards. So anyway, so you have seen already my Daisy Lane and Timeless Tulips. And now you are going to go ahead and see um, the Butterfly Gala, which I'm gonna show you right here. Here is our Butterfly Gala. There you go. And here is our great punch. And you see that it uh, punches both of them. Matter of fact, uh, the way it does it is that you stamp the uh, photopolymer stamp is like this. So you have the small and the large butterfly together. And then what happens is you can stamp that down and then you can center it and uh, stamp them both out. Now, I um, did keep it this way for all of them. There are four butterflies, but one of them. I decided to cut one of them apart. Um, I'm pretty good at uh, stamping uh, after I punched out um, items. Uh, especially with photopolymers, it's really kind of easy because you can see through. So I did decide to cut it out. So, and uh, I wasn't too worried at all. Um, I for sure can punch them out and then stamp them. And so this set is really nice, as you can see right here. So the cards that I made... Um, I have three cards that I made this time around, and I'm going to be showing you a fourth, and it is a, I guess, a fancy fold, um, but um, you guys probably have seen this, and if you haven't, here's mine. It's a wiper card. The wiper card is a great card. It just, um, you go ahead and um, close it up and it sits down and then you pop it open. And when you stand it up, of course, it goes ahead, stands up and the extra um, little uh, treat up here uh, stays up. Uh, the way I did my back is this is where I would write my sentiment and that's how I did it. Uh, people do it differently in their backs, but that's the way I decided to do it. And that's all this is. It's a great card. It's actually quite simple. So I'll be making a wiper card for you um, today with um, some different kinds of DSP and a different uh, layout. So there you go. That's the first card. The second uh, card I made which was quite fun, is another card with the poppies uh, and uh, the butterflies. One of the great things about this catalog is that um, there are so many sets that are flowers, and what's better to put with flowers um, than the butterfly? And so all of these different sets you can add butterflies to them. So that was quite fun to do. It's a quite easy little card. It's just a little flip card. It's, it, I just cut it off. I didn't have extra, and then I put the backing on there. So it's just a sweet little card. The last card I used, um, I went ahead and uh, did the um, watercolor paper. This is the watercolor paper, and I do sponge it. And the colors I used were Poppy Parade, Calypso Coral, and yellow. And this is Calypso Coral Ribbon. And um, this is Perennial uh, Paper DSP from the last catalog that I still had. 
and I just felt that this would be perfect. This is my Monarch Butterfly, and uh, I intend to do the Monarch Butterfly again on this next one. Hopefully, I really like the effect. I also sponged the butterfly. So, great little card, um, very different looking, and uh, really fairly easy to make um, using a sponge and those colors and water. I do use water, so I dip the sponge in water, squeeze it out, then take the red and just swirl it around, and then take the Calypso coral and swirl it around, and then I added the yellow and swirls in various places to get that effect. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna cut out some DSP. Okay, so we're going to produce a wiper card. All right, so here we are um, with our cardstock and all of it all together. And um, what we have is to make the card, you need a front and you need a back and the length of these are six and three quarters by four and a quarter. Six and three quarters by four and a quarter. You are going to score them at one and three quarters and one inch. So I actually score back. I take it to one and three quarters and then I go back to the inch and score again. That's how I do that. So as you can see here, that's this part right here, okay? So what we're going to do is with these, um, doesn't matter what side because they're going to eventually go on opposite sides and so the front will have it on the left side, the score lines and the back will then have it when you turn it around the back will also be on the left but of course they're on opposite sides okay mm -hmm. so the way we're going to do this the way we fold this is that you are going to go ahead and fold this um, forward and this back which is just fine so you have a z fold so you have your Z fold. And so I will take my bone folder and make that a good fold. Like that. Same thing here. And then, oh, I think I did that differently. Did I do that differently? Yes. No, it's the same thing. And back, that's fine. It's fold over and back. Sorry. Fold over and back. And so then they will go on the opposite sides. They will go on the opposite sides. That's all there's to it. So there you are. A little box, actually. Quite a bit like a little box. Okay. Now, um, the actual flipper card, the flipper part, which makes it go up and down, okay, is um, a two inch by two and three quarters. Now, I do believe you can make this smaller, uh, but at this point, the flipper card works so well and you don't see it because you will have to cover it. All right, so, now I wanted to do this this way uh, to show you. Um, I have a six by six and a lot of our DSP um, this year um, is a six by six. Um, and for example, the um, uh, flowers for every season are a six by six. And of course, this is what I used for this one is the flowers for every season. And um, so, you know, this one sheet can be used for the entire card and you have, hardly have any throwaway. So, the first thing I'm going to do is the DSP is going to be cut at four and four and three quarters. It's four and four and three quarters. So that means 
this side is four and a quarter, and this side now is five. So five inches and four and a quarter. So four and three quarters and four will, will do the trick. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna try and cut this this way in front of you. We'll see how that works out. But I'm gonna cut it. Now I want it to face, um, I wanna make sure I've got it facing correctly. Um, so since this is gonna be my front, I wanna make sure my flowers are this way. So that means that um, I'm gonna cut it the four to here. So I'm gonna cut that at the four this way. I think that end is a little rough, so I'm gonna do the other end. Cut that off. So I'm gonna go to four inches and I'm gonna cut that off. There you go, this is kind of an interesting way of doing it, but I'm trying so that you can maybe see. So you can see I do have the, so that's four. All right, and so this is one of the pieces that's going to be used. And then this is going to be, what I say, four and three quarters, right? That's how long it has to be, four and three quarters. So I'm gonna go straight up to here. And this is going to be another piece. So there you go. I was scoring it instead, having a hard time with that concept here. So that's that for right now. And so what I would do, this is going to be my front. Okay, that's going to be my front. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay this down right here in the center and glue it down. And I'll take my happy glue. Just gonna glue that down. Center that, that looks good. That looks quite good, so I'm all set there. Now, this piece. Now, what I did here is, um, this is, remember, this is an inch and then three quarters. So I'm gonna take this down by an inch. And so I think, I think I'm gonna think twice here of how I did that because that's the six by six. And I think what I did here, is that long enough? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what I did here is I took this piece and I think this is about, yeah, that was about an inch and a quarter. Yeah, that was an inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna take it down to a quarter of an inch, place it down like that, and then cut that piece. And then that is gonna go right here, okay? So that piece is gonna go right there like that. I'm gonna actually flip it around and make it go like that, and I'll glue that on, that's fine. So, so I'm gonna glue that piece on like that. That's good. And 
like that because I wanted to show you how you can use that just that one six by six for the entire card and so I took the inch off of that and then I'm going to put that like that right in the center and that is what I did. There you go. That's pretty, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I did do that. Okay, so that piece was for there. And then what I'm going to do is the same for the back side. It's exactly the same cut. And it's going to have to be, that cut is going to have to be at least four inches. So I do need four inches off of this, but I don't need this total width. So I need all I need is one and a half. So I'm going to do this this way. I'm going to cut that down. Now this becomes my strip back here. This is going to be cut at, it's exactly one and a half. So I'm going to cut this at three quarters. Oppa. I'm going to cut that at three quarters of an inch. Yeah, you have to let it just sit there. It's pretty good. It works pretty well. It's pretty amazing, actually, that it works that well. Yes, and that's the back strip. And that's going to be this strip. That's going to be this strip, yep. So then what we're going to do here on the back side this is going to be your back side, right? And so the one strip will go here, right here. And so what I will do, I will cut this off at the four. This cuts cut off at four. goes that way, back side, and then the thin strip is going to go right here again, and that's going to be that back side. So that's going to be cut at four as well. As well. Good. So now we have both sides like this. Yes? Yes? Actually, because, yeah, I guess this would be for you. So like that, and then we have that, same thing, okay? Now, um, I will cut the white paper, um, and um, that will get cut um, in a moment, and then when that gets cut, 
this is the strip that goes across here and that's what's left and so um, it is exactly the same and used a six by six sheet of paper and all that's left is this that's it that's us trying to be frugal and trying to make it go a ways I had forgotten which pieces I used but it worked <laughs> and um, we're at the back we got all of our pieces done here and now we're gonna put on um, our white sheet of paper on there and again this is four and three quarters by four is what I did and so I can just simply glue that on that's my backing and I will do that oh. a little bit out of the frame there sorry so I'm just gonna go ahead some glue on there already. Now I'm just going to glue this down, center it, and go for it. There you go. That's looking good. Looking good. Then I'm going to take this as my header. I am going to take the flowers. I think I'll go through this way. And again, I'm going to cut that literally at four and three quarters. I'm going to make the whole band uh, go all the way across like I did right here, as you can see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that at four and three quarters. There you go. And then I'm just going to glue that right into place right there, right at the edge, as you can see. So next is going to be butterfly time. So we're going to do our butterflies here real soon. And we're going to go ahead and do our monarchs. I really would like to do the monarchs. There you go. Now, um, we can, before we do that, um, I can show you how to do this piece, okay? And what you want to do, and I'm gonna show you how this is done. That's all set, that's all set. Um, all you want to do is go a half an inch. Don't go more, you can't go more. Just um, a half an inch in. So. Um, I'm looking at the uh, half an inch being right here, all right? And I take it, as you can see here, I'm taking it pretty much down here so that I can actually make sure that the way this is, is centered. So that when I score it, it's really going to be, um, straight up and down. So here, got my little, so there's about the same amount right there, looks good. What I did here, I don't know if you can tell, but my corners here, my corners here, my tips here, so everybody's pretty much where they're supposed to be. I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to score that. Now, that might look like a small score, but it sure does work. And so all you need to do is that little scoring. And then you're going to go up. I believe it was an inch and three quarters. So from your front. So here's your front panel. And you want this to flip up like this, right? So you're gonna wanna see it like that. All right, you're gonna go up an inch and a half. So I was just measuring. We're going up an inch and a half right here. And we're going to glue it down. And you're going to use the best glue you have, the stickiest glue you have. Make sure it stays there and doesn't go anywhere else. So 
I'm going to glue that pretty well, as you can see. And then again, I'm going to take it to the inch and a half. I didn't mark it, so I'm going to go back to my scoring here and make sure. And put it right about there. So that is at the inch and a half right here. And as you can see, it's on the three quarters section. This is the inch section. This is the three quarters, so it's on the three quarters section. It's of course, you want to let it dry before you move it because it'll right away do what it's supposed to do. See, it's gonna go fold you down. See how nice that is? Did you see that? So that's how that works. And then comes back up. All right. And then we will, we will be decorating that. Now, when you decorate it, what you have to realize is you don't want to go too far you don't want to go too high up because of the fact that you'll start interfering with the mechanism that's kind of important it's all good so that piece is in there and then you'll start gluing your little parts on here and doing your design all right we really can glue the rest on because everything else will be glued on. So you really can glue this on if you wanted to. Sorry, I'm having a rough day. There you go, just like that. And then pop you go. See how cute? Yeah, and then pop. That's all it is. All right, so, um, we can go ahead and start gluing this together. Or it really doesn't matter because the way this is going to be, you'll be having it flat anyway, so you can do it. See whether this is up or on, you're gonna have this lying flat so you can go ahead and do as you please, okay? So let's go ahead and start gluing this together. I'm going to take this and glue this here, as you see, and I'm going to take it and go right up to the edge. I'm going to make sure I've got those edges together. And glue that. Make sure those edges are together. going to do the same on this side. Isn't that cute? Same on this side. I'm just going to glue this. Put the glue on the outside flat. That's all you're doing. On that one inch flat. And then you're putting it together. Making sure it's nice and snug and all the corners are taken care of. like this. Get a little bit tighter if you like. Use that bone folder. And then that card goes like that. See? There's your mechanism. That's... It is an easy card and this today seems a little rough for me. I hope you're still enjoying this video. <laughs> Um, I think it's going to be a great card, and we're going to now go ahead and start deciding on our front and our interior with our butterflies, okay? So, um, I did cut out the butterflies. I am trying to make monarch butterflies, and you can see here the one that I told you that I had cut is the one that I actually used to stamp out and then to punch out. Now, um, there is no problem if you cut them, okay? Because what happens if you simply cut it, 
then all you're going to do is you set it on your block. I'm going to set it actually this way because that would be preferable. I got some little confetti here. Um, so I'd set it on my block and then I would simply place it on top. Simply place it on top since I didn't cut any more than I needed to. Um, that's all you need to do. And then I stamped it as you can see and then punched it out all at once and it worked perfectly so you can cut them off i don't know if you want to cut them all off but um definitely i wanted to cut one at first and um i did not find that an issue at all so i stamped first and um using that technique and then punched these out i think i even have an extra little one there from beforehand so um, so that will be no issue at all for stamping and punching out. All right. So now the um, perennial essence paper has a uh, perennial uh, flower punch that is still available. Um, the essence paper, uh, this is another piece of it, um, was from last year's catalog and uh, is not sold anymore. But um, I have some, so I'm using it. Um, and uh, I use the perennial punch and I punched this um, three of these petals from, it might be called a petal punch, maybe is what it's called, um, and uh, produced these three petals. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that as part of my uh, top uh, wipe card. And then I was going to use two of the butterflies and one little one. And then for the card, the front of the card, I was going to go ahead and use those three. Now, um, with that, all right, um, we are going to color these and I'm going to show you how to do that. They're going to be all colored the same. What I decided to do is I decided to, uh, I did die cut this out, but the label me fancy punch would work perfectly for this. And I am focusing on the punches right now. Um, and I think if you look at that label me fancy, it'll be great. I went ahead and used my Calypso coral ribbon that was in the clearance rack. <laughs> and there's always good reason to go to the clearance rack. All right. And I got that ribbon there. And what I did, I could have taped it um, on. I decided that I was going to tie it on. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that little end piece. If I'm going to go ahead and put dimensionals here, if I keep it back or if I'm going to bring it up front. But uh, this piece then simply measured, um, this little piece measured um, two and a half by basically four and a quarter. So this two and a half by, no, it can't be two and a quarter, sorry. Four, yeah, it's four and a quarter. Oh, because that's five, yeah, that's five. So this is five long, so yeah. So that's four and a quarter by, I'm having still difficulty with my numbers. Uh, and two and a half. So two and a half by four and a quarter is what I made this. What I decided is I was going to push this up. I think I was going to have this at the top. I'm going to have this at the top and do something like that. And then, you know, typically we, we center everything and everything's nice and centered, but sometimes we like to change it up a little bit. So it's going to go something like this, all right? And so I'll go ahead and do that, sorry. And then, sorry here, having difficulty. Uh, so I'm gonna do something like that. And then I will go ahead and put a butterfly here, um, there. And then I'm going to, I believe, Put three little butterflies down here and we'll see once we get going I do have a tendency to change my mind sometime but we'll see what happens and these were just going to they're like little decorations just do something like that and then our pop-up which will be our flower and our um, other butterflies all right 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm pretty much set with this concept. So I am going to put dimensionals on the back of the um, on the back of this card uh, on the the green um, old olive card. And so looking for those wonderful dimensionals, which I have a whole little container of, getting the right size. And um, I am going to keep that bow in back, I think. So I'm going to do that. I want to keep that bow in place. So I'm going to do that. I wanted that fairly high up there. And do that. And that. And that. And because there's dimensionals, that being popped up will not matter at all. There you go. That looks good. Of course, you can again use your pick tool to take these off with any time. I'm gonna use my fingers today. And that'll be just fine. And again, I'm gonna put this fairly high. There you go. And I'm gonna put that higher up. Like that. I don't know if you heard that. That was my phone. There you go, just like that. Yeah, that looks good. Then I'm gonna go ahead, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and I will stamp this. Um, uh, and the sentiment I am using is thank you so very much. So it says, Thank you so very much. I'm going to do that. So we're going to do that. I am using the archival ink. I did get archival ink. I see there's one spot that looks a little heavy, so I'm going to check that as I always do. Yeah, I can go ahead and do that back. That worked. You know, it is smart, especially if it's the first time that you're using that particular um, photopolymer stamp to check it. It really is. This is fairly easy to center. I'm going to bring that down is what I wanted right there. There you go. So that's going to be great looking. Thank you very much. I am keeping in black. I do have my chamois. I will clean that off with my chamois. I actually find this chamois that I bought to be fantastic and really can take off the ink. The other item I just wanna show you because it really does work. Now this is the archival ink. And so the archival ink doesn't really come off that well. Um, but um, the thing is, is that this is the stays on remover and it definitely, as you can see, helps, definitely helps. And then I'm going to do this and remove that. And so that's a good technique to use if you want to get the stamps clean. I know they don't have to be perfectly clean. It's hard for me to accept that they're not perfectly clean, <laughs> but I will do so. So that's that one. And I can put that back and I will probably wash that finally off eventually. All right, so that's perfect. Love that. So now what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm just gonna put that as if you look here, if you look here, you'll see how I line those bottoms up, and that is my intention. And I do intend to pop this up as well. This is a pop-up card. Everything should pop. Making sure that is good and dry. Looks good. One in the center. here, one down 
here, one here, and one here. There you go, I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work, and we're gonna take those off. Well, I think that's already off, that's off, that's off. Oh, that one's not, that's the one that's not off. And this one's off. So again, as I told you before, I'm just gonna keep that right to there. Just want that right there. Perfect. Right at the bottom. Oop. Easy to line up also. There you go. All right, so we're getting there. So there's our back of our card again. There's our back, and here's our front. And there you go, looking cute, eh? Looking cute, getting there, definitely getting there. Okay, so we're gonna move that away. We're going to move this away. I am done punching and stamping. So that's good, that's good. I can clean all that up without a problem. Clean that up, clean that up. Very good. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to color, all right? And so for our coloring, I am going to use the Calypso Coral and the yellow for my, for my butterflies. Now what I am gonna do also is I'm probably going to take a scratch sheet of paper and put it down so that I don't make too much of a mess. I have some scratch papers here that I can use, so that's what I will do. I reuse my sheets so that they also have tons of notes on them always. <laughs> but I reuse my sheets here, trying to be frugal. And so this will be great for what I want to do, which is getting these colored. So I will color them all. And the reason I decided on these is I think the coloring will be good. But uh, besides that, you know, you can do all kinds of things. But um, besides... Um, I saw a monarch yesterday and because I saw a monarch at least it looked like a monarch and um, because I saw that I went well that's perfect for these butterflies okay so what I have is I have a little cup of water okay just so that you know a little cup of water and I did wet my sponge okay and then I do squeeze it out because I really don't want to ruin my pads um, so you really do want to squeeze it out. You don't really want to drop moisture in there. And um, you're going to go ahead, even dry it even a little bit more, just a little drying here, just a little drying, just a little pat pat with the towel. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dab it in here. And then I'm just going to dab right in here my... wonderful little guys and really as you can see here it's just dabbing typically when I do these procedures and this is how I did that um, card that I showed you at the beginning with the um, um, what was it watercolor paper um, so when I showed you that, this is the procedure I used, except I made swirls. This one, I don't want to make swirls. I want to dab it. Um, so, but I usually dab or swirl. I never go straight across. I, I very rarely do that. Um, so, but we're gonna have that. Okay, so that's that coloring at first. All right, so 
so then what I'm going to do is that was the Calypso Coral, which I absolutely love this color. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. Get this a little bit wet again and squeeze out. So all I'm doing is getting it into my cup of my water. I just have a little bit of water in there and squeeze it all out so I don't want to contaminate my yellow because I'm going to go into yellow and I did want my yellow last because it fills in so so I'm just gonna dry that make sure that you know that basically the color is gone here I could use a different one but I think I'll be okay so I'm gonna go in there there's my yellow and now I'm gonna dab my yellow in there. And that yellow will give it that good coloring. So there's that. And then that. just dab away and then you can see how that's working you can see that when that dries that really gives it that orangey color which is what you kind of want I'm, I'm, I'm sure you could use the pumpkin color but this gives it dimensionality or maybe, is that mango, mambo, mango, or mango, mambo, something like that. That's, that's what, see how nice that is? See how that gets? See, and then you get, you get that little different coloring. Now, um, the, the other thing I could do, which I did in my original uh, work, is I did use some red. And so I could use a little bit of red, maybe on the edges there, to darken those edges up. So I could do that. Also, you know, we have those daubers, uh, and the daubers might work well for something like this. Nope, that's not behaving, so I'm gonna take that poppy parade take that poppy parade since this is darker I'm not too worried and all I'm gonna do is go around yeah there you go that red is yeah that, that red is really gives it that dimensionality yeah so you do kind of want that red there just a little bit of red I'm just putting it at the edges See, there they are, just at the edges. So, yep, yeah, there you go. I think I'm on my last two there. Yeah, that really hits it off. This is fairly simple. If I can do this, anybody can do this because really I'm not very good. <laughs> when it comes to coloring in, I would not say I'm the best, but that really looks great. So I'm just gonna put it back in the cup and leave it there. And so let these dry. They do need to dry. So, they, so I used that was Poppy Parade, Calypso Coral, and uh, Crushed Curry is what I used here. These are the colors to make those beautiful little butterflies. Now, what I was going to do anyway is I was going to take one of the butterflies, and I'm going to move this here now that that's done. Move this here, that's a little wet up there, that's okay. Put a little green thing there, so it soaks up the moisture. Okay, 
So, um, what I can do is I can build my flower while this dries. And so the perennial flower, um, I decided to put this one last because it has a little flower in the center. So I thought I would use that last. This was my first one. So all I'm going to do is glue the center. I'm not gluing anything else but the center, one on top of each other. And um, I'm not usually, I did a little bit of curling with the bone folder, but I'm not sure that that was the wisest thing to do um, with this card. So, um, and so I'm going to just put that in between the other two, just like that, just like that. Yep. Yep. That's how I want it, just like that. And I'm going to let it sit there for a second so that it is able to dry. And uh, I can then work on my, as you had seen, I did want to put three of these guys here and here like this, as you can see. I am gonna be a little, little. Now we could make them, of course, flutter up, down, and up, but um, I'm not sure that that's that interesting. I kind of like this kind of thing where they're kind of just kind of every which way. Actually, I like that best. Yeah, so they're a little bit every which way. They're all topped. And there you go, like that. So that's gonna be those. And then I'm going to put that one right there. Now, I wanna show you something I've shown you before. If you've seen any of my videos, you've seen this before. I always kind of show you tricks. So I love the rights. And uh, one of the things I noticed about this one is you can see that it's a little bit discolored there. So I took my darkest right here in the grays and I'm just going to color that in. And you will see here, and there's another little, little spot that looks like it could use some help on that side. And now hopefully you can see that it's done. I love this. So these are really handy. Of course, as you've seen before, I've got the whole box. If you've seen my videos, you know I got every color I can get, and I got the brand new ones. Um, so, under the new catalog. All right, so I think that should be good. That should be good. Now, I do not, okay. So, um, I guess we could go ahead and glue these down. This is looking good. I guess we could go ahead and glue these down if we like. Um, I could put them on dimensionals, and if you like that, you know, um, you know, go right ahead. Um, I think that well, that wouldn't be bad for dimensionals because that's already popped up and popped up. Yeah, I think I will do dimensionals, but I will take the little black ones. It's dark enough. And so all I'm gonna do is put them right there in the center. So right there in the center is all I did. All I'm gonna do is put them each right in the center. Turn them over and put them right in the center. There you go. Put them right in the center. There you go. So, well, yeah, it's a little moist still. Still needs time to dry just a little bit. So let's see if that one. So 
they're just a little cattywampus, all of them. That one was kind of like that. Like that. That was kind of like... This... going to be like that. I think I need to bring him over. Oh, of course, the middle one's giving me trouble. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. And then this one's going up here because they're not going to be. They're supposed to be flying, so I don't want them in a straight line. This one's still wet. I'm going to have to wait until that little one is dry and then I'll put the third one down. So we'll do that. Okay, so now next comes the flower. And what's going to happen is I am not going to use dimensionals for that, all right? Um, so I am going to glue this fairly high up here, all right? So that is not going to go. That's just gonna go right down here and glued right at that corner. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to glue that fairly high. All right. I want that high. So those two petals are basically what's going to go on it. And there's plenty of room to make it down. So I'm going to take that glue and take this glue and do these right here. Because that's all that's going to be glued is that little section. And I'm going to go down. And try to try to go like that there you go that should do it that should do it see there you go try not to put too much glue on there make sure that that glue is down there so as you can see it's going to be pretty much up there you want to make this nice and pretty because it is going to be the back all right, so there you go, like that. Then what I'm going to do, yeah, that's pretty dry. Then what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and take this one and put him right there. Partially under that petal. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna keep this flat so that we can go ahead and do that. That's gonna be just fine, just like that. Yeah, that's great. That's great like that. And I can glue him down. And again, that's gonna be mostly right down here. Right there, I like that. See how pretty? Then I'm going to go ahead and take this one and come peeking out. He's not gonna be completely out. He's just gonna be peeking out. I can do him like that. Coming out from the bottom. So again, we're gonna do the bottom here. Go ahead and put that right there. Yeah, like that, like that. I like seeing the petals. So that's gonna go like that. Very good. And then I had room for a little one right here. And that was my intention. Right here, a little one coming out from the bottom there. that I'm 
do. I do. You know, I did put the flower there. Yes. <laughs> so with the perennials came these little flower buttons that I've used before. I think I've used those on my videos before. If you can find that anywhere, that would be great. And I think I am going to use it here. It goes with the paper. So I'm gonna take, so I got the perennial, the little button, take off that item and then put that in the center like that. So here you go. There it is. See how sweet? See how sweet. Okay, so now I had, I have a little glue here somehow. So now I'm gonna take this and put that there since I have a little glue there. So that um, is, is perfect. So that is perfect. So you've got your little pop-up decoration all done. So now what you're going to do is I wanted to stick this little guy on still, which I'm hoping now that it will be dry enough so that it will stick. Because they do get pretty wet, so you do have to wait. Try to take that off, that backing, without tearing the little butterfly. Maybe, yeah, that's still wet. Still wet a little bit. There it is. Sorry about that. Just trying to get that and the butterfly all together. Yay! There you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put him. Hmm. Didn't work out so well. It's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that there. That'll stick now. And then what I do sometimes, I got a little bit of the stuff there that got a little bit wetter than I like that one, but that's okay. The front's still good. Put a little glue there. And then I was going for this. Yeah, I was going for this. So there are the little three little butterflies. Now, to equal out the dimensions here. I decided to put the butterfly right there. All right, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and get those larger dimensionals and put them on. So we're gonna put a dimensional here, a white one, and I'm going to put a dimensional here and that was going to be right at that corner and I might go ahead and put maybe a piece of a dimensional right on that tail part so I'm just going to take a little edge off and then cut off a piece because that'll hold down. That will hold down my cord. And, okay, we'll get this in just a second. That's where that belongs. That comes down. This gets cut off. There you go. There you go. Okay, so there is your, there. It's nice and, nice and poppy right now, <laughs> but it does squish down. And then, so when you go ahead um, and open it up, there you go. It's very cute. Now I did curl those up and I thought that might be a little bit of a problem. It is, so I'd be careful not to really curl those up too much. 
you see your butterflies go all the way down, so you, you have the feeling of those butterflies. It's a great, um, it's a great little card, front and back. So with the back, um, not too bad. Um, you do have this, and what I suggest is you could go ahead and color that if you like. Um, but, um, or you can go ahead and a lot of times you might take a circle punch and circle that. I would probably color it. I know me. And so I would probably end up getting some more of the ink and uh, coloring that back to make sure that um, I've got that covered. Now, again, people do use different, the, the, the clear um, plastic to go ahead and do that so you don't see the flip. I'm fine with this at this point. Depends on you. I think it's a great card. Um, I got a little glue here that I'm going to have to um, erase. Oops, not the right eraser. I have these great pencils that have these great erasers on them. And so I will have to glue that. I see that that ended up to, um, to um, got stuck. So I probably, yeah, I took some of that off. So obviously um, I will have to go ahead and put something down, which would be typically another butterfly is what I would do. Having a hard time on this video more than usual in terms of getting things done but also if you look that band would be great right there just right there right across and make it really pretty so matter of fact that's what i'll do so you can see that we all make mistakes but that they are fixable there see my day is just not the best so anyway and then i'm going to take my little I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take my little silicon mat because I love my silicon mat. And I have my tape, my two-sided tape. This is still the old kind. That's fine, still works very well, matter of fact. I'm going to stick that on. And once I stick that on, I will clean it up in terms of I need to bring that down. So I'm going to take that in and put that down. And then go straight across. There you go. And that can go a little further down. Good, 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 good. Let's go straight. If we can make a straight line today, we'd be good. <laughs> good. There it is. It is. Move that a little bit down. Then I'll be straight. Yeah, straight line. I can see here. I'm going to cut that off. There you go. There it is. <laughs> and there you've taken care of your problem. So uh, it's great. Um, you can always fix your, your, your projects and it goes with the front. So who would know? Um, and I'm going to take, and you can take that extra tape off. It just comes off fairly easily. So that's not a big deal. And so there you go. Having fun. Okay, so. This has been an arduous uh, um, one for me. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you saw some techniques you might have not seen before. Um, please um, look at those punches. Honestly, look at the punches. They are great. In this one, I use the uh, perennial punch.
Clutch, the little Blossom Clutch that is still available. Uh, does have the Floral Essence. Uh, that's, that's the one. And um, if you did buy the Leaf Punch from last year, there's the Leaf. So that's great. Um, I did use the um, die cut, just to say, if you do, the So Sentimental um, uh, stamp set has a die cutting uh, set with it, and it's a lovely set. And that set, <coughs> as you see, this is brand new. That set is called uh, Stitches So Sweetly Dies. And uh, I am happy I got these um, because of their different, they just, they're just so cool. Um, so that'll work very nicely when you get your embossing machine if you don't have one. So um, that is it for me. Um, please, again, like. Um, you will see in the directions. Um, the uh, dimensions. I will give you the dimensions in the directions again. And I will also uh, set you up with a, um, um, a code that you could use if you are interested in purchasing any of these items that you've seen today. The colors here are definitely Old Olive and Calypso Coral, and Poppy Parade, and Crushed Curry, and um, Black Ink. This was the Archival. I also love the Stays On. That works real well for me as well. And this is my third punch. Uh, I think my next one won't be until after the 18th of July because I am prepping for my class and I will probably use my class uh, projects as my demo demonstration here on YouTube. Uh, I'll be using a six by six and making it into a wonder sheet and doing various, um, various cards with that and some punches, some new punches maybe you haven't seen. All right, take care. Um, have a great day. Um, I wish you, uh, hope you had a great 4th of July and everybody's safe and sound. All right. Don't forget to like. All right. Bye-bye.